Allison here and in today's video we are going to learn about the keep records sorted option in the sort dialog box when you are sorting records. It is an either incredibly useful and helpful feature or incredibly annoying if you don't really know what's going on and how to stop it from happening. So let's get a handle on this and we'll get started now. So we are looking at a, a list of products, uh, herbs and spices, and as we look at the product names, uh, some of them are marked uh, with a subheading, spice, uh, herb, extract, and some of them are not. Like we have this cumin here that isn't marked, and some chili powder, basil, uh, that need to be updated. And uh, in order to update these and, and keep track of what's going on, we're going to go ahead and sort these. And as I sort them by product name, I'm going to point you in the direction of the lower left of the dialog box. Hidden off literally in the far, far corner is the Keep Records in Sorted Order option. And it is checked. So we'll go ahead and sort. And uh, already this is great in terms of all the spices are being grouped together and the herbs when they're marked are being grouped together and it's easy for us to spot the ones that need updating. So we'll go ahead and update these. This is an herb and when we click away, look at that. It groups with the other herbs because we have that option keep records sorted on so that as we edit these, they fall nicely into the list when we click away or commit the record. So we'll do this last one here. And look at that, we have a nice tidy list. It was easy to find the ones that, uh, oops, missed one there, let's add that. Herb, and yeah, so there they are and they're sorted and as you make edits, uh, they group nicely together. So super handy uh, when you're doing it that way. And if you're adding records, um, if you're at the bottom of the list and adding records, it can go pretty well. So we're doing herb and let's add parsley. And let's create another new record, Command N or Control N on the windows and we'll do herbs and spices and do another herb and oregano. And then it's staying nicely there, but when we click away, it pops into the sort order. Uh, so really handy if we're adding a few things, um, but if we're adding things here, it's sort of randomly putting it in the middle. So if we add an herb here and we say cilantro, yeah, a little awkward. So we might not always want uh, that keep records sorted on when we're doing data entry. So we will go into the sort and this time we will uncheck keep records in sorted order so that now if we go to the bottom of the list uh, and we add new records, for example, very typically we would be looking at a, a list of uh, either an, an Excel or a handwritten list and we're doing data entry off of that list and we kind of want to compare to see that we got everything. So we would like all of our new entries to stay at the bottom of the list. And so now that we have keep records sorted unchecked, we can do that easily. So we can add another herb thyme and add another herb uh, uh, garlic let's say and they're all staying right there at the end which is where we want them to stay when we click away they're staying right there at the end they're not uh, going up to the top uh, and disappearing on us where, especially if you're working with a long list, uh, it might be difficult to know where it went, went to. So like this, when you go into the sort dialog box and you pay attention to the keep records in sorted order, you have complete control of what's going on. And if there's something going on that you don't want, you can uh, pop back in here and check or uncheck it as you find helpful. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, if you could go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, if you could go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.